All right, let's jump into the assembly of the V3 Corona mount. First thing you will want to do is get the display onto the carbon tube. To do this, we will use the display holder. Note there are cutouts on either side for the SD card and headphone jack. The holder is also directional and will require the long side of the compression sleeve to face away from the shooter. Simply slip it over the tube and slide to the back. Now, taking your V3 display and ensuring the headphone jack and SD card are facing upwards, you can push it into the holder. Once in, it should be very secure. Now that's on, it's time to move to the bayonet. Take your V3 bracket and locate the slot cut through the bracket, shown here, for the strap to feed through. Take your bayonet and position it with the strap and bracket as shown, then feed the strap through that slot and pull through until the bayonet is seated into the bracket. Once here, flip everything over. Take the chrono mount sleeve and loosen both screws. The sleeve uses a T-slot-esque rail system, so you will need to slide it onto the bracket from one of the two ends. With the sleeve rails into the tracks of the bracket, slide it to the left edge and feed the strap from the bottom up through the leftmost slot on the sleeve. Then slide the sleeve to the right side and feed the strap from the top down through the rightmost slot on the sleeve. Once here, you can flip the assembly over and grab your buckle nut and buckle and feed the strap through the buckle like you normally would to strap onto a barrel. Feed the screw from the buckle through the bayonet and the V3 bracket, loosely securing the nut a couple of turns. Now, pull the slack out of the strap once the slack is out, you can wrap the tail of the strap around the buckle to tidy things up. From here, it's time to slide the whole assembly onto the carbon tube. Once on, you can adjust the length, pitch, and height to fit multiple firearms. When you have the mount adjusted to your gun, tighten the thumb screw on the sleeve in addition to the thumb nut on the buckle. And finally, if necessary or desired, you can tighten the elevation set screw behind the bayonet to lock it in position for storage or transport. With all that done, you are ready to collect data. Plug your headphone cable into the jack on the display as well as the bayonet, which can be accessed from either the top or the bottom headphone jacks on the bayonet. 